Hey guys, Jesse Males here with Backwater Fly Fishing, bringing you part two of our Bonefish Fly Tying Series. In this series, we're going to be tying a fly that's going to be using the fish skull shrimp and cray tails. This is a really cool product, guys. It's going to replace your dumbbell eyes or your bead chain eyes uh, on your shrimp patterns. And the first step to tying this fly is to run a nice thread base from the eye of the hook all the way down past the bend. At that point, we're going to reach for our cactus chenille, and this is medium in an orange color. And we're going to tie it in right at the bend of the hook, and then palmer it around to create a nice little ball just past the hook bend. After that, we're going to attach our two homemade UVIs. Once those are secure, you can go ahead and tie in your EP brush, and this is an inch and a half game changer. And once that's tied in, we're going to palm it around just one time, and then tie it off and trim it. Now what I've done here for the legs, guys, is just take two rubber legs and make little knots in them to make what is going to imitate small claws on a shrimp or a crab. And then we're going to go ahead and tie those in on either side of the hook shank. Once those are tied in, we're going to reattach our EP brush and then move our thread all the way up to the top of the fly. At this point, you need to go ahead and attach your shrimp and cray tail. Once that's secure, you're going to palm her forwards all the way to the halfway mark. Now here's where we're going to attach the rest of the rubber legs and we're going to double up on those and secure them so that one goes off one side and the other goes off the other. After that you can continue to palmer your EP brush all the way up to the end of the fly. Once you're there, go ahead and use some pretty hefty thread wraps to build up a small head on the fly. After that, reach for your loon hard head and go ahead and put a nice coat over those thread wraps to make sure nothing's going to come undone. So there you have it guys, that's part two of our Bonefish Fly Time series. If you give this fly a tie, go ahead, take some photos of it, throw it up on our Facebook page, uh, let us know you're giving it a shot, and obviously if you catch any fish, feel free to send us some fish pics too, those things never get old.